Hello, so it's Tristan here from Zebra Invest. Today I'm just going to go through the rest of my secret source series and how you can get the best bang for your buck when doing a property refurb. So today I just wanted to go through how you can use stud walls, how you can find dead space in properties, move it around to maximise the space in the property, potentially add extra bedrooms, um, extra bathrooms or anything else like that. So what I've done is uh, I've got a property that we're refurbishing at the moment and I'm just going to show you how we can identify dead space and how we can move the stud walls around in them just to maximise it. So I've kind of rookily uh, set something up to be able to set a camera up so I can show you what's going on. So I'm just going to turn you over and then you're going to be able to see a floor plan of the property that we're just working on at the moment. So this is a real kind of insight into kind of what I look for and how it tends to work. So here you can see obviously we've got a property, this one's in Southampton, um, and you can see at the moment it's got one bedroom, so one, two, three, four bedrooms. Okay, and but the problem is here with the bedroom that's this room here, this is 2.3 meters, and it's actually it's too small to be used for an HMO. So what I want to demonstrate is how you can easily move rooms around, walls around in stud work to be able to maximise your return on investment on a property. So the first one we can do here is if you put a new wall in here, so a new stud work wall across here, and then you then put a new door in here, and what we've now managed to do is we've added a fifth bedroom. So what we can do is this is now a bedroom, so that's bedroom five. And I mean, that one looks fairly simple, but all you have to do is knock this wall out here, take that one out, and then we now have open plan kitchen living space. So that means I've got five bedrooms, but the problem is here with this room here, it's still too small to be used for HMO standards. So what you can do is you can move the wall across. So by taking the stud work out here and just simply moving it across to here, as you can see what I've just done there, then this room is now 6.5 meters squared and is now actually a room. So what we've done, by moving, putting in stud work here, so the CLS, the timbers, the plasterboard for all of this will cost no more than probably about 400 pounds. But in doing so, we've added a bedroom to a house and the bedroom's worth 60,000 pounds. So it's not only by moving these two pieces of wall across, we've added £60,000 worth of value to the property, we're also now able to add about £450 a month income. So if you times that out over the year, that, that comes to uh, £5,400 just by putting new stud work in. So the next bit I would do here is where you've got these wardrobes and this store and everything else, because this room's going to end up being a little bit smaller, is simply... Take the wardrobe out and then you put and get rid of that one as well. And then all of that space is then in the bedroom. So just by moving the stud work around here and removing some of it, we're putting a new stud wall actually in here as well. And that just means that we've you know managed to create an extra bedroom in the property. And the next bit, and I love that, I absolutely love garages because garages in most HMO areas are quite uh, areas of quite high demand. Um, there are areas where there's really good transport links. So what you can simply do is you convert the garage. So you put a new window in here, new window in the front, so there's a window. And then what we're going to do here is because this one, this house has got oddly an internal bathroom, by moving the stud wall across here, so this is where it's going to cost a little bit more, but you move the stud wall across to here and you can have a shower here, a toilet, and I think uh, my drawing's not very good there, but you can get a toilet in there and you would be able to get a two foot door in there. And so that then means that we've now managed to create a sixth bedroom. So, and if anyone who's watching and realizes in Southampton, as I just said, a bedroom is worth about 60,000 pounds. So by moving this one on here, converting the garage, which converting the garage um, should cost about 5,000 pounds. A new bathroom should probably cost about three or four thousand pounds. So that means by doing that, we've probably spent about nine grand downstairs. And then by doing this work upstairs, that the current price I've got on all of this is about seven thousand pounds to move all the stud work. So that's plus another seven K. 
So now for £18,000 of cost, we've managed to add two bedrooms to a property. And then that then means that the property should be worth roughly an extra hundred to 120,000 in Southampton. So this is one of my, part of my secret source series explaining how you can add a lot of value to properties. But just by rearranging it, we've simply managed to improve the return on investment. We've made it a compliant HMO and we've significantly increased the value of the property. And in doing this, this means that then you can do something like a buy, refurbish, refinance on a relatively small amount of money to then be able to get it so you're no money left in. So you're buying, refurbishing and refinancing. So I hope that's really helped. For anyone who's just tagged on at the end, um, I'd thoroughly recommend going back to start watching this. I've already done this on another property in the area uh, and we're actually achieving a rent of 2000, uh, about £2,850 per calendar month. The other things you could have done here, instead of gone to six bedrooms, um, you could have put, say, another wall in here and put an ensuite. You could put two ensuites here, so you have ensuites for each bedroom. And then you could put ensuites in um, here. There's lots of different ways to do it. Anyway, if you've got any questions, um, just comment in the below. If you like what I put together, keep watching me because I'm going to be coming every day with a, another little episode just to show you what's going on. And uh, hope to hear from you soon. Cheers, guys.